in today's tutorial I will be showing you how to use Google authentication uh, with password JS in my last video I showed you how you can use Google authentication in Firebase but I'm, today I'm going to show you in, uh, in password JS alright so um, let's get started so in order for us to get started we need a couple of things uh, first of all um, go to console.cloud Dot google dot com create the project okay so I'm just gonna click on this click on that and create a new project I call this uh, uh, auth okay from here uh, when the project creates so it's just loading okay so once that is done click on that make sure to select the project that I just created click on the the three lines at the top left and go down to APIs and services and click on credentials. From there, click on create credentials and click on auth client ID. Once here, click on configure contest screen, click on external, click on create. Give your um, app a name. I'll call this tutorial. A support email, which is required. A logo if you want and any privacy or terms of service an email which is also required <coughs> click on save and continue here you're going to save and continue save and continue and click on back to dashboard click on credentials again click on credential create credentials and click on auth client id this time you'll be prompt with this screen click on application type and choose web application Go ahead and name your uh, ID. I'm just gonna call this the default, which is called Web Client ID One, but you can name this whatever you want. Inside of the authorized regex URL, click on Add URI. I'm gonna type HTTP dot slash slash local host three thousand okay slash Google, and I'm gonna add another one. So I'm just gonna copy this and slash this time. I'm gonna do local host three thousand slash callback. Go ahead and add those two and click on create. So now you should have your client ID and client secret. These client IDs and uh, secrets won't work after the video because I'll be deleting the project. So you will have to have your own. Um, now go ahead and uh, let's create a React uh, Node.js app. So I'm going to hit terminal. And I'm going to go ahead and do uh, npm init y. From here I'm going to do uh let's see index.js and i'll be installing some packages so i'll have to install express install express <coughs> sorry and let's see we'll have to install the passport install that one too um and if you go to passportjs.org and from the main menu click on use all strategies and type Google here. Now, if you type Google, you see uh, you'll see like a thousands of them. Just click on Google Password Google Auth uh, Twenty, which is the one that'll be that we will be working with. And just copy this and paste it in too. Paste it in here. Awesome. All right now, we can get started with our code. Okay. So we'll have to import some things. We'll do cons express equals require express. Okay, and you'll do cons passport equals require passport. And cons Google's strategy strategy equals require passport. Google uh, 20 and we'll have to define our uh, port so I'll do port 3000 you can do 4000 for the port if you like it's up to you but I'll be using 3000 um, and we'll have to do const app equals uh, express now just like to mention it real quick I got this um, code from their doc um, documentation so if you just really want the code and don't want to read the whole doc so uh, then you're in the right place 
Um, I probably will be explaining a lot of things, okay, just mostly typing the code or mentioning small things. But uh, yeah, you'll you'll mostly see me uh, typing the code. So we'll we'll do password dot. Let's see, serialized serialized user, and we'll do user, and done. We'll do like an arrow function here. Um, and I think I did something wrong. Okay, yeah, this has to be two, and we'll do done. And we'll pass in null and user ID. And we're gonna do passport. Uh, that deserialize user and this is all good also gonna take user and done and you're gonna be done you're gonna pass no and user here okay you're not gonna pass ID but you're just gonna pass uh, user and you're gonna do passport that uh, use and you're gonna do new Google strat uh, <coughs> Oops, I think I spelled it new Google strategy. strategy. Okay, I misspelled that. It doesn't matter, but you know, I just like to spell it right. Um, and we're just gonna pass uh, our client ID. Okay, so I'll have to do client uh, ID here. Actually, um, for this portion, I'll just go ahead and uh. Uh, copy this real quick. So, I'm gonna paste this in. Inside of the client ID, you're gonna go back home and you're gonna click on your client ID, paste it in at top. Oops, for some reason, there's something wrong with my copying and pasting it. Uh, let me do it again. Paste. Huh, that's so weird. Okay, I copied that. Okay. And same for the client secret. I don't understand why it's doing that sometimes, but you know, let me just try this like that. Okay, inside of the callback, you're just gonna go ahead and do HTTP, uh, HTTP, uh, that, uh, that slash slash local host 3000 slash Google slash callback. All right, um, and you'll have this. Okay, so you we're gonna edit this a bit. C go ahead and clean, clear that out. Um, and what you're gonna do is um, you're gonna do console.log profile and you're gonna do uh, CB and you're gonna do null and profile. So in for my case, I won't be doing console.log uh, when I am running that, uh, when I am just testing it out that's because it's gonna really some personal information such as you know uh, the profile picture so it's just gonna really some information that I don't want to share so because of that I'm just gonna I'm just not gonna reveal that real um, I'm, I'm just not gonna do console.log uh, but yeah so what you're gonna do is you're gonna do app.get here and you do slash Google okay so once we go to Google, so localhost 3000 slash Google, this is where we should be uh, authenticated or, you know, um, where we should be redirected to uh, login. I'm going to do passport dot authenticate Google. So um, you, there are a couple of scopes. Scope um, profile. So there are scopes that okay. Uh, I'm not sure about all of them. Okay, but you can you can take a look at the scopes. Um, there are like. 
scopes are like kind of permissions okay uh, so let's say if you say email it's just gonna say this app wants to take a look at your email or see your email um, so yeah so if you go do app.get um, slash Google password authenticate Google and scope profile and yeah so going down we'll do um, app.get uh, slash Google slash callback okay um, yeah callback um, and uh, let's see okay this is kind of long so I'm just gonna go ahead and copy it off from their doc okay okay gonna paste um okay so i think that's fine um but i'm gonna delete this off i'm just gonna have google slash callback um google um in the so here are some so from here it's kind of um, up to you um so app that gets um so if you um let's say if um if, um, if the, for example there was a failure reject you can reject the user to that specific page or um, and this this section is when it's successful okay so you can just write off the user to database or do anything but in my case I don't have a database set up so I'm just gonna do console dot log uh, login success and we're almost done we'll just have to uh, do or app listen the port app the listen port all right let's give it a try i'm gonna hit clear um node index.js um I'll, you'll go have to go to http <coughs> sorry localhost 3000 slash google okay and Click on the email, you choose your email, and yeah, it's not gonna do anything, um, okay? That's because uh, we don't have anything set up after we log in. Uh, in my case, it said login success, like like it did. The reason I'm not doing cost a lot, like, like I mentioned, is just because it's gonna show some of my personal information, which I don't like to share. So I'm just gonna remove that out, but for your case, um, you can just put that in there. And this section will just do, um, you know, We'll, we'll we'll do something after um, the authentication uh, authentication is successful. So it's very simple, uh, you know. Uh, really, like I did take a look at some other people's code and where they create a different file, and you know, it just um, I wouldn't say make it complex, but kind of make it longer. Um, in my case, just like you know, this like rough, roughly about like thirty seven lines of code did the trick. Uh, so yeah, if this was helpful, I would appreciate if you can uh, like and comment and let me know if you have any questions. But uh, yeah, stay safe.